Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tavir. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing very well today. We're on Lady Jane the Second, who is suffering from gigantism, making her take up a much bigger portion of the screen. Maybe that will be an issue today. Because we are venturing into New Game Plus 2 for the first time enemies do i feel like i need to turn more burdens on i'm just not sure what i want to turn on yet uh we're definitely going to turn on the royal guard citadel Ag agaratha becomes more dangerous what is what does that mean uh, and we're definitely going to fight the burden of beasts we're definitely going to fight the new prime estuaries uh these guys are going to be showing up in axis Moondy. Oh, the burden of command. Welcome to a world of higher standards. Commanders gain additional buffs. So the elites can have multiple buff effects. <laughs> okay, I think that'll do. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we only need four burdens for this difficulty. And uh, we're going in with 21. So I, I feel like that's good. And if, if we get a little uh, overextended, <laughs> if things don't go great... We can always scale it back. Uh, but first, I have to beat the tutorial again. <laughs> I legit thought I wasn't going to be able to fit through this for a quick second. I was like, wait a minute, how am I supposed to finish the tutorial? <laughs> All right, here we go. Back at the standard castle. We've read his dialogue before. He's just telling us that we need to open the door. And the tutorial enemies were taking two swings from our big ol' axe to break through. Wait a minute, you don't belong here, Mr. Painting. The painting was also making the minions on the screen immune to damage. I'm really excited for more elite enemy affixes. Super into that. That's what I want. Hades was the most fun when our castle was just getting ridiculous. Or you know what I mean. It wasn't a castle, but you know what I mean. Let's dash into the side here. Up over some of those projectiles was the plan, but it didn't quite work out. Those crits are hitting pretty hard. 429 damage on one of those swings. Now, we are still running with the same burdens as before as well. So the castle is larger. The enemy elites are more numerous, and now they have even more effects. So everything we were struggling with on the last new game is still here. Although, being able to start off with one-shotting some enemies is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, a lot of the enemies are they are saying that they're level 200-something. Defeat all enemies is the challenge. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's double axes coming down from overneath or underneath. I'm going to freeze, try to maneuver around some of these. Let's get poison on this axe guy right here. Maybe he'll spread some of that poison around. Doesn't look like I'm lucky enough for that today. Mr. Spin down here is going to get some... <gasps> I deserve that. I was going to say some kicks to the dumb, but uh, he clearly had different plans for me. Mage on the far side should be the last enemy we need for our challenge. It is done. What do we get? The Soul Steel Rune. That's very, very good. You remember when we got that Life Steel Rune and we were super excited about it? Same thing, but now with intelligence scaling as well. Maybe it'll be time to bust out some mages. Food is healing us for 107. There are still some upgrades in the castle we can look into getting to make that a little bit better. Uh, this could be very good. More damage to enemies that have status effects on them. Our spell provides the poison status effect and, <laughs> and our our Y is a technically a status effect as well. It's a freeze. So that could be very good. I have the thing from the castle that heals us up to 100% health whenever we enter a boss room. So I kind of want to explore a little bit more if I can, and then maybe tackle that problem. Uh, one of the enemies on the left side here, that one in the back, the red one, has the ability to shred my armor. As we saw during our full clear for New Game Plus One, during that stream, we were cruising. I mean, looking beautiful until we ran into too many enemies that could shred armor. That gave me a whole new respect for that elite affix. That, I'm scared. I'm scared of that. Trap on my left, but I can't extend the flames forward. We have a 134% gold bonus right now. 
which is a pretty nice way of starting off our first clear of the normal castle, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, and we're already sitting at 17,000 gold collected. I'm gonna explore underneath me rather than heading back up to the bus. Ooh, can be aimed, consumes all combo stacks. So that's the one that launches. I don't, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. I might reroll and see what you got though. <gasps> A, a giant barbarian that can go immune to damage? Honestly, I think that our freeze is better for the boss. I think I'll keep the freeze. Oof, these javelin throws are relentless. Look how many are sitting on this platform. Luckily for me, that means that poison damage is gonna be super effective because one was already really low on health. We get to take full advantage of that. It's super weird seeing these axe throwers and the painting dudes in the normal castle. Maybe with New Game Plus 2, they were like, yeah, you've, you have you know where all the enemies go. Well, let's just start throwing them at you. We don't need to stick to the lore or anything at this point. Not that I'm even sure what the lore is, to be honest with you. In this room, instead of those other things, we could swap out our weapon. Actually, there's a case for that. Uh, ooh, we would actually be the highest health mage in human history. I don't think I'm doing it, though. I don't think it's worth. We do get a quick three swings in versus one of these axe dudes. I'm going to freeze this one before he hits me again. Perfectly done. Uh, I should be freezing a little faster, to be fair. Hopefully I can chill right here next to him. No, I can't. The mage at the top of the screen is going to force me out. A lot of moving traps here. Goodness gracious. We do manage to get one of our spells off, increasing our damage a little bit. Looks like this door heads out to Axis Moody, so we're on the right side of the starting castle right now. Woo! Freeze to remove those projectiles. Let's see if I can get my big bones down here. Yep. No, none of that. I literally can't dodge. There is not enough room in that hallway for me to be able to dodge one of those projectiles. Giant, giantism does have some benefits, like my weapon hitting more of the screen is really good, but when it becomes like, when you flip that coin and it's like now you have to avoid damage, it can be pretty sketchy. Poison on the painting lets us hit him for a single swing when he comes back down to finish off that kill. I don't think I use spells enough, and that's what I'm gonna try to work on during this new game plus two portion of our clears. I want this to be the time where everyone notices that I use spells a lot more and they're very good. I mean, especially when we were getting down to the dry lake, the only thing I cared about was getting wind wall to try to uh, mitigate some of the damage from those projectiles. I feel like I really got into defensive spells a little bit more. We have a pretty cool relic. I haven't shown it off too much, but it's actually really nice for the tutorial. When we dash, we break any objects we're dashing into because our dash is actually leaving a small shockwave. And it can remove projectiles as well. And it also deals a little bit of damage. I was just trying to see how much. So those spear guys, technically, if they're throwing a spear at me and I dash into it, we would remove that projectile. Although that is still feeling pretty counterintuitive. That's, that's not how I usually think about avoiding obstacles. <laughs> dashing directly into them doesn't normally happen. Oh, Hermes boots would allow us. Sorry, they're not. Oh, they are called Hermes boots. I thought I was playing too much Terraria. Allows us to stand on spikes. The I don't know what this does. Defeat enemies while at maximum HP and gain five maximum mana. Wow. Yeah, none of those super good for me. I mean, the health restore would be nice. Don't get me wrong, but 20 resolve would lower our maximum HP. Um, so a better method right now would just be to do the boss and I would get a ton of health back doing that. As we check out the bottom of this room, lots of stuff going on. We'll go with a quick freeze to start things off. Focus down the extra large eyes because I don't want any damage being thrown at me. At the end of this guy's spin, he throws his axes. So that's a new thing we have to look out for. Before, they would either do one attack or the other. They would either throw the axe or they would prepare a big spin and try to zone you away with that. Oof. I am a little afraid of what it really means that these... Pa Ooh, shit. I'm in big trouble. 
I gotta go. I have to bail on this room. I can't finish this room. He was protected for four applications of damage, meaning I'd have to hit him three more times. And uh, well, we have a very slow weapon, so I don't think that's gonna happen today. Uh, the chest does bring us up to 43,000 gold. And I'm just gonna make my way up to a teleporter and we'll do the boss. Fuck! What? What? Ah! Damn! I was feeling really good about that. Yeah, let's go really. Okay. All right. We'll get another character in there. We're finding this boss. Synesthesia and bonus weapon damage for every point of resolve. Sure. All right. Now I'm going to talk to every single person that has dots above their head because I want the extra dragon souls. I'm talking to every single one. I'm gonna do this in between every run. Every person will be spoken to. Oh, hey, big man. No. Oh. Synesthesia can add a lot of clutter to the screw. Whoa! You stay up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, and he did the spin attack at the end of his... He did the throw at the end of his spin again, so that's consistent. That wasn't an isolated case or anything. Uh, this Ronin is okay. We're not, not crazy or anything. Having the windshield, like I said, is really nice because we can use that to avoid some potential damage. Uh, I was also thinking I, I could use the windshield to just remove his weapon there, but that didn't quite work out. I think there is a little bit of money in the corner. We do manage to find it. I'm mostly focused on finding the boss at this point. I won't, I'm gonna make sure we get there in one piece. I wanna see how hard it is. Oh, these guys through the floor though. This is gonna be some pretty easy cleanup. I can defeat all those enemies, no problem. I don't even have to be on the same level as them. Who's protecting you? Wait, this guy's also immune to... Oh, okay, hold on. I'll get on this ledge. Hit him with the wind wall. So he's protecting everyone around him, shredding armor, and is going to take four applications of damage in order to actually start taking damage. Uh, this is actually the hardest enemy I've ever seen. Oh, stay above it. And the problem is I can't finish off any of these ads and he's he's sitting like half a room away from me. We're gonna have to be aggressive. We're gonna have to get in here just to be able to clear this room. Oh, dancing around so many projectiles right now, but we managed to finish off the elites. But at what cost? That's a lot of incoming damage. And look at this cheeky guy just sitting literally an inch out of my range. <laughs> Two eyeballs protected as you go in. There's a painting with explosive that's protecting them. And he's armor shredding. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of stuff, bro. That's actually pretty terrifying that elites could have that many effects. The, the one that we fought previously to that, that was immune to damage, making other people immune to damage. He just controls such a big space. It's going to be so difficult to figure out how to adjust to. Ooh, take more damage, but deal more damage. Or instantly die. I already rerolled this, so we can't reroll it again. I don't think I'm very interested in taking more damage just yet. I got to be honest. I feel like... Oof. Feel like, uh, you know, they're dealing enough. Why did the floor go away there? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I didn't hit the floor in any way. I just did a normal, that was an upward attack. Does my blade hit behind me? Bro, do I have a back blast on a katana? <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'm glad I got to see that. All right, now give me to the top. Okay, great. No more damage, please. No more damage. Our lifesteal is getting pretty ridiculous with this new rune added to, added to the equation. But uh, we still cannot afford to just take damage for no reason. The only way forward in the castle is down to the bottom right. Definitely a weird layout. I wonder where the boss typically ends up with the expanded castle. Blocks into two attacks, but consumes 150 mana per block. Not bad. After three dashes, your next dash will leave a poisonous cloud. Not bad again, but giving up that much resolve isn't worth it. 
This one, though, the Ambrosia, after taking damage, you're invincible for an additional 1.25 seconds. I think that's really good on the Ronin in particular because the Ronin has such a slow attack speed. So if I take damage, I can hold my ground for a little bit and at least smash out one more thing. There was a crack in the floor. We used it to get down here. Now, if I can... There it is, find the actual hidden entrance. You just gotta run against the wall until you find it. Protected skeleton, looks like the protector is that javelin thrower at the top left. I'm trying to actually get these skeletons up on the same level as her. If they jump and I hit them in the feet, there we go, there we go, we're in, perfect. Just cleave them all down. I think that was actually a pretty good strategy. Okay, big guy at the bottom has Seekers. Sends out Seekers of his own, is immune to damage for four applications, and is protecting everyone around. Bro, these aren't elites anymore. These feel like raid bosses. <laughs> it feels like you're in a dungeon and I have to figure out the mechanics for each thing I have to take down. This is a big shift in difficulty for sure. But hey, that's what the burdens are for. That's what I'm here for. Let's make it happen. I hope that eventually this will be just as boring to me as a normal, like, full clear is, where it's like, yo, I have a plan. All you have to do is execute it. I, ah, it's a lot of colors. Uh, painting is alive. Where is it? Perfect. Great hit, 377 damage as well. If you could please leave, I'll just uh, take your coin and I'll be on my way. Nice. Uh, let's see. Starfish is protected by who? Oh, it must have been one of the javelin guys. I think as the javelin thrower moved away, the protection aura kind of uh, got away got away from that guy. But then again, that was a javelin thrower. Was that the protection aura? Maybe I don't recognize the icon. Puzzle, no jumping. Uh... <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Resolve rune, that's beautiful. I would love to put that into our kit. I think the relics are my favorite part of exploring more of the castle. Seeing what combinations we can come up with to make our character totally busted is super duper engaging. It like itches the theory craft part of my brain that not many other things do, to be honest. Roguelikes are pretty perfect for that. Uh, we have a protected mage as we walk in. It was coming from that skeleton. As we clear him, most of those other enemies there can't actually get to us. Didn't use my wind wall there. Didn't use my spell. I said I was going to. There, we use it for no reason now. He's just in range of that attack. Mage won't know what hit him. It seems like all of the basic enemies that haven't been rolled up by our burdens are still super duper easy in this part of the castle, but because we're encountering so many of the supercharged enemies, the starting castle is still kind of strong. Ooh, do we take the health damage? Yeah, I think we do. 197, we'll be able to kill this starfish right away. There's a painting on the far side of the room. What happens when you throw a wind wall at a painting? Does it change directions? Oh, it stalls out, so we can use that as a way of blocking its momentum. That is very much worth it. Even though this wasn't the character I was intending on fighting the boss with, uh, we are sitting at 54,000 gold for this portion of today's video, which is not bad at all. Hey, I have a question. Does anyone get tired of seeing the, seeing the Ronin this often? I really enjoy the play style, obviously. But um, I wouldn't want to watch someone play the same character in, you know, Heroes or League over and over. Maybe it's the same here. This room is a fucking disaster. We do manage to finish off one of the elites, but there's another located on the left side. It's periodically sending out Seekers. Those Seekers then, when I bounce off of them, send me into the spikes at the top of the room. We only have 48 health left at the moment. Uh, there is an enemy on this side. I don't think he can hit me through the wall. We'll clear him out. Nice big bonus from these chests and a little bit of food might keep the dream going. We've explored quite a lot of this castle layout, significantly more than the previous one, but the boss room still seems to be eluding me a little bit. Is it off to the left here? 
Lose no health. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. Technically, I didn't fail the challenge. Hey, I'm just saying, I didn't lose any health. I think giving you the defeated noise there is a little... I don't know, bro. Uh, two very big enemies here and a painting as well. The painting does get hit. It is on the move. If it hit me, it would have lowered my overall armor. This light coming up from the center of this room means the dry lake is underneath us. And that also means the boss room is kind of run out of the places that it can hide. Oof! We are literally one damage off from that kill. That feels really bad. We need like one more point to physical damage to be able to make that. Okay, bud. I was debating not coming down here. Please don't make me regret that. Oh, I'm regretting it. I'm regretting it. I'm regretting it. There's the damage and the seeker down. Yeah, finally, finally. <laughs> you know, I don't, the saying, oh, I found it in the last place I looked. Well, obviously that's the place because you stopped looking after you found it. But I was running out of places to look. I think right above me would have been the Axis Moony entrance. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't really remember the prime mechanics, so we're gonna... Oh, it's still sealed. Oh, excuse me. All right, let me in, please. I don't really remember the prime mechanics. I know there's a lot more projectiles, but we killed it before, so we should be able to kill it again. I don't know how hard the boss hits. Okay, spikes on the walls. He's standing up. Oh, our damage is... Whoa, yeah, I gotta dodge through that. Forgot. Also, these things suck, but we just got to remove them. Wind wall. Beautiful wind wall. Actually absorbed quite a lot there. Try to remove another one of these balls. Oh, dashed into him. That was a mistake. Dashing this way. Wind wall up. Up and over. Oh, didn't make it in time. Wow, he has a lot of those orbs all in one location now. Let's get to the other side of him. Luckily, it's still just one resonating kick to remove him. Wind wall does keep me safe there. Let's try to regenerate some of that mana. Dashed a little bit too far. We are going to hit second phase on our first attempt. That feels pretty good, but I'm not looking forward to this explosion. <gasps> Perfect wind wall actually absorbs all of it. We're behind the boss now, dealing a lot of damage, dashing in and fucking taking more for no reason. Oh, it's a lot of daggers, especially with synesthesia. That's a lot of projectiles. Good wind wall again, keeping me safe. His charge forward is going to be met with my charge backwards. Oh, bro, I'm running out of places to go, though. Fuck. We're okay. Oh my God. Yes, I rushed it. Next hit was gonna be a death either for him or for me. We stood our ground and actually defeated the first part of the castle on our very first attempt on New Game Plus 2. How much money do we get for something like that? Not enough. 77,000 gold as we have cleared the first part of the castle. The picture added to the wall. Um. See if we can find the entrance to Axis Moody before we die. Uh, health, very low. Most enemies will be killed, but most consumables also picked up. Although I'm not very thorough on those, so maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. We're going to have to leave this room up. And then we're venturing off to the right. And we have found more enemies. This one, explosive. But we managed to take him down. It's probably a good idea for me to kill this guy too. Just because that extra health that we leech from him can be very, very useful. Chest underneath me, we found the entrance. Where do I drop down? Ooh, straight down this time. Fire Mage guarding the entrance and guarding it well, but our blade dash does allow us to take him down. Bounce back in the air there because we nicked that uh, little bouncing Betty thing. I don't, I don't actually know what they're called. It's weird to see this particular room without spikes underneath the chest, too. I got so used to seeing that in later parts of the castle where it's just trying to kill you. That's its only objective. Speaking of which, I, this is going really well. Our health's coming back. We should be able to find the next area, no problem. <laughs> this painting is carrying a protective debuff with it past all of these enemies. I saw the exit and I was just trying to move through and he was like, hold on, bro. Let me make your life real difficult for a second. Uh, but the room has been cleared. Axis Moondy has been entered. The first boss down in our first video on the new difficulty. 
That feels pretty good. How much are these gonna cost me this time? 9,750 gold. Sure, it is totally worth it. And with that, our character can rest. Lady Jane the Third took out more of the castle than anyone ever expected her to and has earned a nice retirement. The Ronin level up giving us 1% increased scaling with our strength account wide as well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. We're going to start rolling these videos out every day again at 9 a.m. So I hope to see you again tomorrow as well. I've been pumping points over here on the left, trying to get my armor weight up because that helps our resolve as well. This is percent based. So that's good. That's good. That should scale pretty okay. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, taking on Axis Moondy for the first time, maybe making our way to the Prime boss located there as well. Not too surprised that we knocked out this one today. I mean, the starting area is pretty easy, but what will we find over the water? Check back tomorrow to see.